Hi guys, I'm Suzanne with Backyard University here to talk about how to use salt to kill weeds. We've all seen weeds sprouting out between our newly placed spring mulch and trying to gain space in between our flower beds. Weeds somehow find their way into the cracks in our sidewalk and our flower pots. If you're not sure if that flower peeking its head is a weed or not, the definition of a weed is any plant growing in an unwanted area. If you're looking to get rid of weeds, using salt is a great alternative. You can use any salt composed of sodium chloride. Regular iodized or non-iodized salt from your kitchen cabinet works well. If you have rock salt left over from the winter, that will work too. You do want to stay away from salts composed of magnesium sulfate, such as Epsom salt and kosher salts. Kosher salt has both magnesium and sodium chloride, but won't be as effective as a table salt. And table salt is cheaper. There are several homemade mixtures you can make using salt. The first being one cup of water and a third cup of salt. Allow the salt to dissolve and spray on the root of the weeds. Do not spray any areas you want to grow. The salt will kill everything. The salt kills the weed by seeping into the soil, sucking the moisture from the weed and ultimately killing it. The entire process should take about 10 days. Another mixture you can make will get rid of the weeds much quicker, within 24 hours. It's a mixture of vinegar. Just mix one gallon of either white or apple cider vinegar with one cup of salt. Allow salt to dissolve and add a few drops of Dawn dishwashing liquid and spray. If you're pressed for time and don't want to mix up a batch, you can always sprinkle some salt around the plant's roots and water it with your garden hose or sprinkler. There are a few things you need to be aware of when using salt in your garden. One, it's very toxic to both your pets and to wildlife, so don't use it around animals. Two, there is a reason commercial weed killers do so well. They kill weeds, but not the surrounding plants. This is not the case with salt. It will kill your weeds, but it will also kill everything else around it as it sinks into the soil. So don't use salt anywhere you want anything to grow. Three, any salt used in the soil will remain until it is washed out. But even then, the soil may not be fertile enough to plant for years to come. For these reasons, we at Backyard University believe the use of salt and vinegar is a great way to get rid of weeds and cracks in your driveway, under your decks, or anywhere you don't wish to plant. But if you're looking to get rid of them in your garden beds, you may wish to reconsider. If you have any other backyard questions or concerns, feel free to click the link below to our videos or visit our website at backyarduniversity.org. For your convenience, we've supplied the link to mention products.